Monitoring, recording, and measuring the shifts and changes in our natural world has become increasingly significant as the effects of climate change begin to force ecosystems, habitats, and species to continually adapt and diversify. This pace of change is creating the context for certain things to flourish while others disappear. Understanding what is changing and how has become critically important to both map and manage the abundance of planetary shifts we are living through. But how do we read, record and interpret the signs on these maps? The answer lies within the skills mastered thousands of years ago by people who found ways to read their environment through the art of tracking. This knowledge has been traditionally passed down from generation to generation. However, as the world industrialized and urbanized, our tools of navigation changed, and so did our need for reading the environment. Now, only a few remain who can read these signs. Louis Liebenberg recognized the potential of this ancient skill to help us interpret and understand our rapidly evolving environment at a global scale by creating the Cyber Tracker. Based on his experience in the Kalahari Desert, working with traditional trackers, he designed software which translates traditional tracking techniques into a digital format, making it accessible to everyone. CyberTracker users capture their observations through icon-based prompts on their handheld devices. This information is pulled into a database management system where analysis and mapping can then be done. It requires no programming skills and allows users to customize the application for their own data collection needs, thus making the software and its functionality extraordinarily accessible. Historically rooted in the indigenous traditions of the Kalahari, CyberTracker is now being used to collect data for a spectrum of applications. The CyberTracker has been used to gather data in the Kruger National Park and other natural environments since 1998. This data has been used to monitor and implement the management framework of the park and contribute to scientific research. Its function has gone far beyond capturing environmental data, however. It has been used in the health sector in Indonesia to identify and map the gaps, enabling more effective service delivery. Disaster relief is another arena where the software has proved to be instrumental. After a natural disaster, relief efforts must overcome logistical challenges that are mostly due to poor communication and unreliable information. The cyber tracker is used on the ground to collect key data on basic needs and make it accessible to everyone working in the field. To date, more than 50,000 users in 210 countries have downloaded the free software. It has provided a unique tool to understand and manage our natural environment, count the seemingly uncountable, and mitigate our risks caused by climate change. Another great idea, born in Africa. Oh, man.